Hi everybody, second video of the day. Woohoo! Betting a hundred here. All right, so I want to talk about gardening now. Um, so how do I, you know, what is the step-by-step -step process for me to decide what I'm planning when I'm planning it? So let's start with what is seasonal? So as you know, here I am in Florida, brand new climate. I mean, it's just so crazy to me of like that I can plant year round, which is why I came, one of the reasons I came down here. So I went ahead and looked for some information for this zone here in Florida of what you can plant. And as you can see, March was a big planting time and I completely missed it. Doesn't mean I can't plant other times, but I'm trying to be really seasonal, play it by the book. You know, I'm still going to plant sweet potatoes. I'm still going to plant spinach, um, uh, you know, Swiss chard, uh, basil, borage. I mean, there's a lot of things here that could have gone in in March, but they can go in in April. But the things that you can plant in April are things like bush and pole beans, which we're going to do tomorrow. And, we'll, and I'll talk about why we're going to do that tomorrow. Cucumbers, which I've already got a couple of plants, but I'll probably want more. Tomatoes, so tomatoes will be a good thing to get in. Um, summer squash winter squash watermelon I, I i was able to grow watermelon when i lived on the island harson's island up in michigan uh you know i'm gonna try my hand uh next month it's okra i love okra i could probably plant it now but um that's another thing i definitely want to plant so uh tomorrow morning just joe's gonna get you know about 10 15 clay pots and get the soil and then we're gonna set them up and we're gonna plant our beans tomorrow okay so this is about um, there's somebody at the door so Joe you're gonna have to get it honey making a video sorry guys life um, so anyways uh, so there you go all right so then the next step well then I get my Rudolph Steiner calendar and you guys know how I feel about Rudolph Steiner little B that's enough that's enough um, Okay, so, uh, Rudolf Steiner, well, let me talk about Rudolf Steiner. Most of you probably know who he is. If you don't, do your research. The guy was such a thinker. He was putting out content, really, I think from late 1800s, early 1900s to about 19, mid 1930s. I might have that a little bit wrong, but I'm definitely in the right era. And, um, you know, he's the father of biodynamic farming, um, and it, he's he's amazing I mean he takes in the entire cosmos of um, you know considering or implementing how you grow when you should grow what's compatible I mean it's you know he he understands that it's important to include the whole the whole picture and uh, I mean, it's crazy how detailed he gets. It, it's really crazy stuff. And, and, you know, people that follow it, they swear by it. So I followed the, I followed the calendar. That's what I do. Um, if I had a farm, I would definitely go that route, would be the, you know, the Steiner way of farming. Um, but, I, you know, I'm going to incorporate permaculture and those a lot of those same principles. But anyways, so I digress. Just wanted to kind of talk about who he, who he was. Um, so he has he has a calendar and you can see here it's really easy to follow this is all the astrological stuff you don't need to know that or read it but for those of you who will understand it might be of interest um but you see here it's got the dates and then right here's the time and it's eastern standard time so for example uh you know you go up to like april 3rd which is up here and you follow it through and then you look and you see between like 10 and i'm reading it backwards two is you plant anything leafy. I did this last year, everything grew. Not only did it grow, it grew like gangbusters. Now I do some other stuff that people don't do. You know, I had, uh, 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 I put crystals in my pots that um, had my, my music, which is um, harmonically rich that, um, and built on a scale, um, of the Schumann resonance of the harmonics of the of that of that frequency and again anybody that's followed my channel 
they I've talked about that and how it works. So I mean, I I did some other things that were I think were definitely significant. But when I planted it, that was really key, and I really held to it. I mean, I really held to it, even though I would want to plant those tomatoes. I'd wait a week. <laughs> it was time to put them in so okay so that's the next thing and then the third thing is is I kept a chart of what really grew what really worked what were the great seeds and I went over that with you last year at the end of the year and I talked about those seeds throughout so I'm going through that now and I mean I, I have 5,000 seeds if I have a seed. I mean, I have so many seeds. So I'm going to send all my, I've already got an a envelope started for Gretchen, my colleague and my, my dear friend up in Michigan. And so I'm going to send her what I'm not going to use because I'm dealing with a smaller area here and I'm being a lot more specific about what I'm going to grow. I'm going to make sure everything that I grow is stuff that I eat. That is, you know, it's, it's fairly easy to grow. It doesn't have to be easy, but it's just, you know, it's not going to be a whole lot of work, right? And uh, meaning that it's not going to be a fussy plant. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, uh, not kind of, that is how I'm doing it. Bad habit. I hate that kind of, kind of like, like. So I just want to skip over to this um, company that's going to be um, helping me with the sprinkler systems and doing, you know, micro watering really so that, you know, my plants are always being watered. This is really an issue in Florida. I don't want to be held captive that I have to be out there watering all the time. Once, uh, and that's for vegetables, that's important. Um, so yeah. So anyways, the name of the company is Co Coquina. Coquina. And it's named after the rocks that are found here. So he was telling me about these and I looked it up. Oh, he sent me a link. That's right. Sent me a link. And there's a state park called Washington Oaks Garden State Park. Is it nearby? Yes. Yes. All right. So. Um, so this is, I, I really want to read this to you because this is really interesting and now I have to go to that park. All right, so walk along the shoreline at Washington Oaks Garden State Park. My bird is so mad right now. She's in the garage. I have this huge garage down. She just flies around in there. And you'll feel as if you entered another world. The second largest outcropping of Coquina Rock is found here, giving visitors a glance back at geologic time. Coquina Rock is a type of sedimentary rock, specifically limestone, limestone's very magical, formed by the deposition and subsequent cementation of mineral or organic particles on the floor of oceans or other bodies of water at the Earth's surface. In other words, the rock is formed by the accumulation of sediments black and white picture, so I'm sure that's not very helpful. Um, the Coquina Rocks at Washington Oaks is part of the Anastasia Formation, which stretches from St. Augustine to Palm Beach County and was created during the mm, Pleistocene, Pleistocene, uh, P-L-E-I-S-T-O-C-E-N-E -E era. So in other words, 12,000 to 2.5 million years ago. During that era, when sea level was lower, shells and sand were exposed to rain. The slightly acidic rainwater dissolved some of the calcium carbonate in the shells, which glued together the sand and shells into rock. If you look closely at the rock, you can see millions of the individual shells and sand cemented together. One particularly interesting characteristic of the rocks are the regular, perfectly cylindrical holes in many sections of the formation. The perfect circles were likely formed from erosion of rock by rainwater, which has collected in the depression on the rock surface. Wow, iced tea, mason jar. Over time, similar to the rock's original formation, the acidic rain dissolved away some of the rock, creating a larger and larger circle with each rainfall. <coughs> this is a common process in limestone rocks. Do you know that there's always a lot of hauntings around limestone? Something about it that it, I don't know, holds memory? It's porous? I don't know. 
The word coquina is a Spanish for cockle and is the name given to the small burrowing clam that lives in the sand just at the ocean's edge. This is the main shell component to the rock. When you visit the rocks, you can witness seasonal changes in the structure. The coquina rock shoreline can be exposed or covered up by different storm events as sand gets shifted around. From one season to the next, the beach can look entirely different. The formation also also may, uh, may also look devoid of life, but look closer. There are entire ecosystems thriving both and around the rocks. Ah, live in the moment. Attention to details. That's when you see all that stuff. There are entire ecosystems thriving both and around the rocks. Different species of snails, urchins, and algae call the formation home and rely on it throughout their life cycles. Wow, I want to go see this. You know, the beaches, it's not like sand. It's almost like um, kind of crushed up. It's real crystalline. It's just cool. And it, it kind of sticks on you. It's not like sand. It's it's more, it, it, it's kind of, a, it has more substance to it. it. It's, I really like it. And I really like the color. Of course, the beaches are shut right now because, you know, a virus will spread on the beach. <laughs> Just, <laughs> whatever. Okay. All right, everybody. So, um. I just feel like I'm back in the swing of things. Everything's good. Yeah, and, uh, you know, glad I had this time to share all this with you. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I will have a list for you of the, uh, the seeds I loved uh, from last year and planting again. And I think I'll share that with you tomorrow as I will be out there planting. So I'll be showing that off too. Okay. All right, everyone. So Radical Gardener from my garden to yours. May your garden always grow. You know, sending you a ton of love. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>